Joe J-Lo Lozon is a grappling specialist who is known for his acrobatic submission techniques. Lozon has a 12 and 3 mixed martial arts record, finishing the majority of his wins by submission. Lozon favors leg kicks and hopes to score a tap out in his UFC debut. I know what he can do, I know what I can do, uh, I can get him. I mean, he, he can knock me out, but I can get him too, so it's gonna be a fight. Jen's Little Evil Pulver was the first and only lightweight champion in UFC history. Pulver was undefeated in the UFC, scoring victories over David Velasquez, John Lewis, Carl Uno, and Dennis Holman. In his final UFC match, Pulver became the first man to defeat BJ Penn, but left the UFC after the fight due to a contract dispute. Now after almost four years of fighting around the world, Pulver is back in the octagon and on a mission to get his belt back. If I can get him to stop for four seconds, wow, man, it's black. He's done. Coming up next, Joe J. Lo Lozon takes on Jen's Little Evil Pulver. Joe Lozon, J. Lo, Bridgewater, Massachusetts. We'll try to go big, has good submissions. He knows that Pulver's been beaten by submissions before, but I'll tell you what, when you're 22 years old, you're making your UFC debut against a former world champion, you are going to have your hands full. Without a doubt, and uh, Joe, Joe has uh, a good stand-up game, but it's not at the level of Jens Pulver's. He has an excellent ground game, however. He's got great jiu-jitsu, but unfortunately for him, Jens Pulver has some of the best takedown defense in the game. So uh, he's got his hands full. He's a young guy with a lot of promise and a bright future ahead of him. But this is definitely a significant test for him in his first fight in the UFC. He just finished college, worked as a tech support man for a while while a student loves the heel, hooked the heel, hooked it, by the way, caught Jens Balber, courtesy of Dean Thomas. But again, I think you can't stress enough that welcome to the UFC, Joe Lozon. I want to fight in the UFC, but be careful what you wish for, because you are fighting one of the best of the best who is extremely experienced. But you know what? Crazier things have happened. Absolutely. It will be emotional as the only lightweight champion ever is set to return. martial arts and uh, just very exciting to see Jens Pulver back in the octagon. You see him tap the middle of his hole. Welcome back Little Evil. Jens Pulver is back in the Ultimate Fighting Championship. Our tale of the tape. The former world champion is 31 years old. He gives up a huge amount of reach though to the 22 year old making his debut Joe Lozon. You know the gents wants to swing, but it could be dangerous while he tries to get inside. Let's get our night officially started with the veteran voice of the Octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. It's time to begin our first bout of the evening. This fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, the fighter standing in the blue corner. This man holds a professional record of 12 wins with three losses. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Bridgewater, Massachusetts, Joe Lozon. And now introducing his opponent standing in the red corner. 
This man is a mixed martial artist who holds a professional record of 21 wins with six losses and one draw. Standing five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 154 pounds. Fighting out of Davenport, Iowa, the one, the only, former UFC lightweight champion of the world, Jens Little Evil Pulver. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee. The beautiful and lovely Ariani, set to get this started. Little Evil, Jens Pulver, Joe Lozon. Former champion, welcome back home. Lozon has that reach advantage, goes for the shoot. Wow, nice Lozon job gets by him Lozon. Down. Very, very impressive. Jens Pulver's got some sick takedown defense. He might have just caught him slipping there. Lozon shot in quickly, so perhaps Lozon wants nothing to do with exchanging fists with Jens Pulver, which might be a wise decision. It's definitely a wise decision. And Jens is doing a good job of standing up. Jens is up, but not totally. Back down. Lozon stayed and uh, stayed in pursuit of that leg. Pulver's up again, and he pushes away. Pulver can explode with the left hand. If you don't believe it, ask John Lewis. Down goes Pulver good again. Knee, but Lozon again, a left hook. goes Jens. Jens is out. And He's out. Wow! Wow! I mean, that is impressive. Man! Wow! Jens Pulver might have taken Joe Lozon lightly. Let's take a look at this. Jens slips here. It's the knee, isn't it, Joe? Yeah, it doesn't, the knee. It looks like, no, it's oh, the left it's hook. hook. Yeah, the left, left hook. Yeah, absolutely. The knee missed, the left hook, and Jens is out. Wow. What a huge victory for Joe Lozon. Bam. Left hook, that's it right there. Very, very impressive. Crazy sport that we have here called the UFC. That's why they fight. Congratulations, Joe Lozon, shocking the world with the victory over Jens Pulver, utilizing his reach advantage. Wow, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at 48 seconds of the very first round. For the winner, by TKO, Joe Lozon. Unbelievable upset to open our night here at the pond. Here's Joe. I'm here with the winner, Joe Lozon. Joe, that is a huge upset. The odds makers had you a seven to one underdog coming into this fight. Did that discourage you at all, or did it did it fire you up? Uh, it kind of fired me up. Uh, Jens was the champ. Uh, of course, you know someone having their first fight at the UFC, they're going to be the underdog. Uh, I didn't think it would be seven to one. Thought probably two to one, three to one but uh, definitely motivated towards the end. Well, and Jens is, I mean, basically, he's never lost the UFC lightweight title. He was the champ, he left the UFC, so you, you're pretty much the UFC lightweight champ right now. How's that feel? Uh, I wouldn't go that far just yet. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of good guys. Looking forward to fighting a lot of them. Talk us through the knockout, it was very impressive. Uh, he was definitely, he was looking for the takedown. You know, he's already dropping, knocked him off balance, caught him a little bit, threw a knee. Uh, hit him with a left hook right on the chin. Uh, that's basically it. Finish strong. In your assessment, where does this win place you in the lightweight division? Uh, I think my next fight's going to be very, very tough. Regardless of who it is, they're going to throw me at someone or throw someone at me, whatever. But uh, I'll be here. I'll be ready. Well, congratulations, Joe. Excellent victory. Very impressive. And we look forward to seeing you again. Joe Lozon, ladies and gentlemen.